Hey guys, welcome back to the Microengineering YouTube channel. My name is Michael Rona, and today's video is all about incorporating a barometer into our drone flight controller. I'm going to start off by explaining why we need a barometer on board our controller, then explaining the mathematics behind converting changes in pressure to changes in altitude, and then finally showing you the code that's going to be running on an Arduino to uh, get things up and running. Why don't we jump over to my computer here and uh, get started with things. Alright, so let's talk about why we need to use a barometer on board our drone flight controller. So a barometer is a pressure sensor and we are going to use that to measure the pressure difference between our takeoff altitude and the altitude when we're flying in the air. And what we can do is we can convert that pressure difference into a change in altitude. So let's talk about how we're going to do that. So in order to convert that pressure difference into a change in altitude, we are going to be using the hypsometric equation. Fancy name, right? And that is right here. So let's break down this equation a little bit. So a change in height or altitude, z2 minus z1, is equal to the uh, gas constant R, which is 287 joules per kilogram degree Kelvin, times the virtual temperature in units of Kelvin. We'll talk about that in a second. Divided by gravitational acceleration, you know, 9.81 meters per second squared, times the natural log of P1 over P2, where P1 is the pressure, atmospheric pressure, measured at the um, takeoff location on the ground, and P2 is the atmospheric pressure measured when we're flying in the air. The units of P1 and P2 don't matter just as long as they are identical because, you know, as the equation shows, we are interested in the ratio between the two. So now let's talk about that virtual temperature value, or TV. Um, I'm not going to really explain what virtual temperature is. Um, if you want to learn more about it, I'll put some links to some resources down in the description. But anyways, all you need to know is that it is a function of temperature, pressure, and humidity. And so when I need to calculate a uh, virtual temperature for my uh, barometer, I use a calculator on the NOAA website here. And as you can see, it is a function of temperature, dew point, or humidity, and station pressure. So for temperature, I will put in 29 degrees Celsius. It's pretty hot in my room right now. Uh, dew point's about 19 Celsius. And the um, barometric pressure, or like the atmospheric pressure right now, is um, 980 millibars. So I'll click convert. Bam, so the virtual temperature in Kelvin is 304.75. And that's the number we're interested in using. So let's just recap things because we kind of breeze, breeze through things pretty fast. So what we are using a barometer for is we are going to use it to measure the difference in pressure from our takeoff location on the ground and when we're flying in air. And we're going to use that difference in pressure, plug it into the hypsometric equation here, which will give us a change in altitude. And in order to use the hypsometric equation, we need to use, uh, we need to determine the virtual temperature, which can be uh, determined using an online calculator here, such as the one made by NOAA. And uh, we need to store that value in our um, Arduino's memory. All right, so now since we got some of the background knowledge um, out of the way, let's move on to the juicy stuff. Let's move on to the code. So I have my code open up here in Visual Studio Code. Um, I'll copy paste this over to the Arduino IDE in a second so we can upload it to the Arduino. So first up, let's talk about sensors. The sensor I am using for my drone is the um, is Adafruit's BMP388 temperature and pressure sensor. Um, it's a pretty awesome sensor um, from the testing I've done. If you want to learn more about the other sensors I'm using on my drone flight controller, I made a video about that as well. So um, check that out on my channel. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to assume that you guys have f found the um, library to um, use your sensor online have um, installed it on the Arduino IDE, ran its example sketch just to make sure your sensor is working, and also for you to review how to extract sensor data from your sensor. Um, I used um, Adafruit's um, BMP388 example sketch as inspiration for writing this code. So without further ado, let's uh, jump into the code a little bit. So of course, at the top of the code, we're going to have to have our include statements here. Uh, the bottom three are um, used by um, Adafruit's library, and we're going to also need to include the math library as we want to uh, use the natural log function in the um, hypsometric equation. Then we got some function constructor constructors here. Um, I'll talk about those in a second. This is how we instantiate, I think that's the right word, um, 
Adafruit's BMP388 um, sensor class, and that's going to be labeled as altimeter. So wherever you see the word altimeter in my code, that's Adafruit's code. Then we're, gonna, then we're gonna need to define some global variables here. I have the virtual temperature here, of course. Um, I think we were at, uh, yeah, 305. So let's type in 305. And then we also need to have um, the variable for altitude and the um, pressure measurement at the ground. So let's walk through the um, setup, the Arduino's uh, setup loop here. So of course, we're gonna have to start off by initializing our serial port, setting the baud rate, which I'm using 115200 as about rate, whatever. Then we need to initialize the sensor, and I found this little code snippet from Adafruit's example sketch. And so if this function initialization function returns false, it couldn't detect a sensor. Then we need to do some more initialization for our sensor. This is just setting some um, oversampling and filter coefficients. Um, this These just help out um, reduce noise a little bit. Um, if you want to learn more about those, you can check out your sensor's data sheet, but whatever. And then now, well, the final step of the setup is determining our ground level pressure. And I wrote my own function to do that. To do that, so let's look at that at the bottom here. So what this function does is it reads the sensor a few times and computes an average measurement, and we use that average measurement as our our ground pressure. So it accepts a user input labeled n and that is the number of points we will use a number of measurements that we're going to use to, um, to compute our average so first what we do in this function is perform a few readings to flush out any um, bad sensor readings uh, we just do it three times and we don't do anything with that data then what we're going to do is perform n readings whatever our user input is and determine the average pressure from those readings so you know we're going to do this n times here so we're going to read the sensor um, sum all of the pressure measurements and divide it by the number of measurements we do, you know, just how you compute average. Um, ground pressure is a global variable, so we don't need to return that from this function. All right. Again, if um, this all seems a little bit confusing, um, you can open up this code. I'll have it on my GitHub page and uh, you can follow along with me and dive a little deep, a uh, little bit deeper into it. Next, we uh, move on to our, the Arduino loop um, function here, which will be running continuously as long as our Arduino is plugged in. So first, we need to perform a sensor reading. Then we need to use the pressure reading to compute the change in altitude using a hypsometric equation function I wrote. So let's check that one out. So the hypsometric equation function I wrote accepts the user input of the current pressure in Pascal's. Then we also have R, the gas constant defined, is 287. Then we also have gravity right here, which is 9.81. And then we're going to return the hypsometric equation result. So that's R times virtual temperature, which is stored above in the code, time divided by gravity, multiplied by the natural log of the ground level pressure we determined earlier, divided by the um, current pressure reading. And we're gonna return that. And that takes care of that right there. Then that's it. Then we just need to print our results to the console. So right here, I'm printing temperature in Celsius, um, pressure in millibars, and altitude change in meters. And then of course, at the bottom, you need to um, put a delay to set your sample rate, kind of sort of. And so I got 200 in there. That corresponds to a sample rate of uh, five Hertz. Now, we need to talk about a pretty important consideration when using a barometer as a um, pressure altimeter. According to Bernoulli's uh, equation, you know, as airspeed increases, pressure decreases. So this little sensor is going to be attached to our drone. It's going to be flying through the air. Air is going to be moving over the sensor, which is going to actually decrease the pressure um, from the true atmospheric pressure, which you're trying to read. So the way that we can help get rid of that is by enclosing the sensor so that no wind can pass over it. So the air is stagnant around it, but still able to, I have it still able to breathe to the outside air. What we can do is we can either put it in some sort of enclosure or we can put some foam on top of it. I'm going to simulate that by putting some cloth around the sensor. It's just so it doesn't have the air from my fan disturbing it, just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, select all of my code here and paste it into the Arduino IDE. 
upload it to our Arduino, open that serial terminal, our serial console. Let's wait and see what happens. There we go. We are reading an altitude change. And as you can see, it is pretty small. It's fluctuating around two to five centimeters or so right now. And I'm gonna move it up about a meter or so. Um, I don't think my arm reaches about a meter. So it's about three quarters of a meter, 0.8 meters or so, which you know seems about right. And I'll bring it back down. And we're back around uh, zero-ish. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it doesn't go exactly back to zero. Um, and that's an unfortunate drawback to using a barometer as a pressure sensor. They're not super accurate, but as you can see, it gets within about a half meter accuracy of where ground is. But luckily, we are also going to have the GPS included in our drone flight controller. And the GPS is gonna be able to provide much better um, altitude estimates. So, not too bad, right? And again, I will put the um, code that I just developed in uh, GitHub repository, which I will have linked below. Um, and that's really it. Uh, the next couple videos I'd like to make are pr uh, probably going to be about using the inertial measurement unit or IMU and also the GPS. Those two sensors are unfortunately a bit more complicating and the video is going to be a bit more technical about those. Uh, but they're extremely critical components and sensors for our drone flight controller. So that concludes this video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, of course, and also subscribe to uh, stay tuned for any more updates I post about my drone flight controller development. Until the next video, uh, see you later.